This is a kind of reverse Pictionary type drawing game where the person drawing does not know what the clue is. From the top of that sphere to where I am currently standing, draw a sea slope. Also, the person drawing does not know the clue, and it's in virtual reality in 3D. Here, Emily Eifler, who is wearing the headset, knows what the clue is, and she can see the drawing and has to describe to Andrea what to draw. Um, starting at, okay, both at my right shoulder, draw a line going straight forward that ends in three prongs. Okay. Draw another line going straight forward, ending in three prongs, starting from my left shoulder. Okay. Okay. Sort of. Um. I don't understand how proportions work. Okay. Um. Here I'm starting to suspect that Emily is indicating with her body in a literal way that the things around her feet are feet and that the prongs coming from her shoulders are arms. I think it looks like a dinosaur with the tails. T-Rex? It is a dinosaur. It's a dinosaur? Yeah. Okay, what? Oh, it must be a T-Rex because it's got hands like that. I, just, I would like you to place it to my hand a long, thin, rounded rectangle. I tried to be as specific as possible about the shape and how it would be used and placed into my hand, but I forgot to include scale. Now, off of the face of that oval, um, I would like you to add many small lines pointing perpendicular to the surface of the oval, coming off of the all along the skirt of brush. On just one side. And now a compressed version of one of the clues that took longer to get, in fact about 10 minutes, and some of the different changes in strategy that I had to try. A clock? A box with a clock on it? A bomb. Uh... I tried to make everything life-size and placed correctly in space to the actual objects I was representing. 
um, put a larger but wavier circle around that circle. You just put the small, the very small circle all the way around the circle. An egg and a frying pan. And also included some charades-like elements, which we didn't decide whether that was legal or not for a game we're making up. And finally, Andrea leads us in the most roundabout clue by not taking the easy way. Okay, so we look like how many swords fight? <laughs> or two, um, two battles? Um, half. Uh, spear. Yes. Yeah. 